and welcome to the fourth week of our Island Stroll Cal. I'm Tess from Sisters in Stitch and together with the amazing team of Yarn and Colors, we have teamed up to bring you these two lovely projects where you will either make a pillow or a blanket depending on which yarn you choose to work with. And this week we are doing something very special and near to my heart, which is this lovely design called the Island Lily Square. This square represents my grandma and all of those that we hold near and dear to our hearts and will therefore be the centerpiece of our mix, okay? So without further ado, let's see what we will need to make this week. So to make this square, this very exact one in all the same colors, you will need six colors in the must-have yarns from Yarn and Colors in the colors mustard, old pink, pearl, cream, Ecru and limestone, and a three millimeter hook that goes with it, a scissor, and the darning needle, of course. And if you're making the blanket, isn't she amazing? <laughs> you will need super must haves instead in the same colors, and a six millimeter hook to go with it. And as you can tell, there are quite a size difference between these two. <laughs> this one will measure 12 and a half times 12 and a half centimeters when finished, whilst this one will measure a whopping. 22 centimeters unblocked, just stretched, okay? So just stretch them, I mean, with your hands like this, because this is a non-blocking project, so you will not have to block anything. They will block themselves out when we assemble all the pieces together. And if you're making one of the other two colorways, Walk in the Woods, as seen here, or Stroll by the Sea, you can find all the colors changes on the little divider notes that are placed between the rounds, so you know which color you will use for each round, okay? And as always with us here at Sisters in Stitch, we are using US terminology throughout, and you can find all the abbreviations, terminology, and stitches used in the stitch guide that is placed on our homepage, sistersinstitch.com, as a free download together with the free written pattern. So you can download the pattern both in a screen-friendly version with lovely pictures and such and also as a printer-friendly one in just black and white and as minimal and bare as possible. We wish you lots and lots of fun and please, if you are sharing on social media, use the official hashtag IslandsDrawCal. Let's begin! So to begin, I start with a magic circle. You can of course choose a chain start if you want to, but I prefer this one as it gives a neater closing. Okay, and into this magic circle we are working eight single crochets and I begin with standing stitch so I'm just diving right in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and then I simply just pull the thread back down the center and tighten to close like that and to close this round we close with a slip stitch to the very first stitch and I would now recommend you to fasten off at least partial of your beginning thread because the next one will be very stitch tight and if you leave this on in weave it could stretch out the center okay so go ahead and just fasten it off a little bit on the back side, saving a little bit if you need to further close it after we have finished round two. Okay, meet me up in a bit. So I have now weaved my ends in a tiny bit here. I went back and forth three times, just on a small space, just to make sure that this will stay close as we work, because now we're placing two popcorns in each stitch with some chains in between. And so this could easily stretch otherwise. So to begin, I start with a standing stitch. And since we are doing DC3 popcorn, I'm doing mine as a height of a DC. So I just raise the loop, go back around the body, grabbing the yarn, pulling it to the front, two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both. That is my first double crochet. And now we do two more. So one and two and three like that raise the loop slightly go into your first stitch or last chain depending on which start you chose grab the loop and pull through and close with a chain 
that is not part of the pattern, it's part of the popcorn, okay? And now we are chaining one, like that, and going right back into the same stitch and working another DC3 popcorn. So one double crochet, two, and three. Like that, raising the loop slightly, going through the first, grabbing the loop and pulling it through. And chain one to close and then chain two. So one and two. And this is the repeat. I will do it one more time with you. So into next stitch that is slightly hidden now, you scooch them over, you do another DC3 popcorn. So one double crochet, two and three. Raise the loop slightly, so you don't drop it. Go through the first double crochet, grab the loop and pull through and chain one to close. And then chain one and then go right back into the same stitch and do another DC3 popcorn. So one, two and three, like that. Raising the loop, dropping it, going through the first stitch, grabbing it and pulling it through. And chain one to close and then chain two. So keep on the repeat six more times and meet me up to close. Okay, have fun. So now I have come almost all the way around. You can see two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. It should be room for one more. It's easy to think that this is your last stitch. It's not, it was your first, okay? So just scooch them over and you'll see where you are supposed to work your final DC3 popcorns, okay? So just go in there. I know this round is quite dense, but it will be well worth the effort, okay? I promise, <laughs> I promise it will be adorable and super gorgeous and so full of texture. So we have three double crochets, go through the first, boop, grab the loop, pull through, chain one to close, chain one to separate, and then you go in one last time. Okay, so one, two, and three. And it is really crowded, I know, I know, but it will work. There we go. And then chain one to close and chain two to separate, like that. And now you can either go right in here into the center of the first popcorn and close with a slip stitch and then fasten off around here, or you can do an invisible join. I will actually go with a slip stitch this time because now we are covering this with front posts, so it won't be noticeable. And I think this is a little bit more secure. But as you can tell, the center has opened up a little bit because you have a tiny bit of a gap in there and I don't want that. So I will go over one more time with my starting end and just make sure that that one is closed before I continue on with the next round. So do that and meet me up for round number three. And now we are ready to connect all these lovely popcorns to one another. So we are working front post double crochet two together over a lot of popcorns. <laughs> that is it for this round. Okay, so we begin around any first popcorn of a set of two. Yarn over once, go around the stitch from the front to the back and to the front again. Place your yarn, grab it and pull it through the front. Yarn over again and pull through two loops, like that. This is our first half finished front post double crochet. So now we yarn over and go around the next one. Just like we did with the first from the front to the back, peeking out to the front again, grabbing the yarn and pulling up a loop. You should now have four loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through two, like that. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and finish them all. And this is our first front post two together. Gorgeous. So chain three, one, two, and three. 
And now we are doing our second one, we yarn over, and then we are always going around the same popcorn that we just finished a stitch around. So we are going in front of that front post lay, going from the front to the back, to the front again, peeking out, grabbing the yarn, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And now we yarn over and go directly around the next one, which is the first of another set. From the front to the back to the front, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And now you have three loops on your hook and two half finished double crochets. So you yarn over and pull through all of those three loops like that. And now we chain four. So one, two, three and four. And this we will alternate. So every other chain three, every other chain four, but this repeat is the same. Okay. So I will follow you with one more repeat. So yarn over. And again, we are starting around the same one that we just made of front post stitch around. So just go around like that. Grab the yarn and go around the next one. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. And then we chain three. So one, two and three. And then we yarn over beginning around the same popcorn again, going around from the front to the back to the front, grabbing the yarn, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, going directly around the next one, grabbing the yarn, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, having three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three, like that. And then we chain four. So one, two, three and four. Keep on repeating this all the way around and you should end up with 16 front post double crochet two together and eight chain three spaces and eight chain four spaces. So remember to alternate these all the way around and then meet me up to close. So now I'm almost all the way around. I still have one front post double crochet two together to work over these two popcorns, the last and the first of the round. So I will just follow you along and make that one, okay? So we simply have a chain three and then we yarn over, going around the same that we just made, a stitch around and just do a half finished double crochet around that one, yarn over and going around the first of our popcorns from the previous round and do a similar one like that. And then I yarn over and pull through all three loops and then I chain four, so one, two, three, and four, like that. It looks so cute. Oh, I love this round. It's so adorable. But what I do now is simply I cut my yarn and then I work an invisible join to the second stitch, which is the first chain of the chain three, okay? And then I just hide my ends back here. So do that and meet me up for round number four. So now it's time for our lovely little pedal base and how we do that is placing a lot of half double crochets and double crochets around the chain four spaces only. So we are skipping the front post double crochet two together and the chain threes and we are only working in our chain four spaces. Okay, so we begin with the standing stitch around the chain four space and do a half double crochet like that. And then we do one more. So we have two half double crochets, scooch them aside and make four double crochet. So one, two, three, and four, like that. And then we chain one, and then we're mirroring the same way down. So four more double crochets, one, two, three, and four, followed by two half double crochets, one and two, like that. This is our pedal. So now we're repeating that all the way around in all chain four spaces. So I will do one more with you, okay? So yarn over, 
and do one half double crochet, two half double crochets, and then four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Chaining one, and then going the same way back. So one double crochet, two, three, and four, followed by two half double crochets. So one, and two. And now you simply carry along the same way in the next six chain four spaces, skipping all other stitches, and then you should end up with eight pedals and meet me up to close. And just like that, we are all the way around and we should have eight pedals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pew, <laughs> that's good. And then you can simply just stretch these pedals a little bit because yeah, it's just cute. <laughs> I love this flower just as it is, but for the next round, we will be keep adding to the petals and making them grow a bit taller, okay? So what I'll do now is simply cut off my yarn and close with an invisible join to the second stitch, which is the half double crochet, the second one of the round. So do that and meet me up for round number five. And now it's time to add some lovely little texture to these petals. So find yourself any second half double crochet of a petal and then begin by doing a standing back post half double crochet around it. So we are going, since we worked here front post, we went from the front to the back to the front. We are now doing the opposite. So now we are going from the back in between and around the stitch and back to the back like that having the needle on the front of our work but working on the back side so yarn over and pull it through three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three like that and that is your first back post half double crochet and now we are doing that for the next two stitches so yarn over Go from the back to the front to the back around the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it to the back. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So we are working on the back side, but the lines of the stitch are ending up to the front side, pulling our lovely little stitch headers forward. So around the next, a back post half double crochet. Like that. And now we are doing a back post double crochet around the next two stitches. So yarn over and go through from the back to the front and back to the back. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And that is your back post double crochet. So now we're doing that for the next stitch as well. Like that. And then we are going to work a few stitches around the chain one space here okay so the first one will be a double crochet three bubble so we are doing three half finished double crochets around the chain one space so one two and three whoops not going through that loop like that <laughs> so you should have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four super cute and then we chain one and do a double crochet around the same chain one space like that chaining one again and then we're doing another dc3 bubble okay so three half finished double crochets one two and three four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four like that isn't it lovely it looks almost like a little flower beginning with two leaves and the stem adorable and then we are mirroring our way back down so we are doing a back post double crochet around the next stitch so just take it nice and slow and one and then around the next one as well 
So two back post double crochets. And now we are doing a back post half double crochet around the next three. So one, two, and three. Take it nice and slow, like that. Adorable. So we are now going to anchor this one. So we are folding this section down and around the chain three space from round number three, we are making a tight slip stitch. Like that. And then we keep on with repeat once more. So we are skipping the last and first half double crochet of each petal, beginning around the second one and making a back post half double crochet around the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then we do a back post double crochet around the next two. So one, and two. Like that. And then you do a DC3 bubble around the chain one space. So one, two, and three. Half finished double crochets. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Chain one, and then work a double crochet around the same chain one space. Chain one again and do the second double crochet three bubble. One, two, and three half finished double crochets, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Yarn over and do a back post double crochet around the next two stitches. So one and two. Then a back post half double crochet around the next three. One, two, and three. Skipping the last half double crochet, folding your work forward so you can get into that chain three space and work a tight slip stitch around it, like that. And as you can tell, by doing the slip stitch tight, we are pulling these chain three spaces out of the way and hide them behind, okay? So keep on doing this for all the other six petals and meet me up to close. Have fun! And here we have her. Doesn't she look absolutely stunning? I mean, these petals, this layer just made all the difference to it, I think. So what you will do now is just cut your yarn and close with an invisible join to the second stitch and then we are ready to begin our framing. So to begin, we start around the second back post double crochet from the previous round to the left side of a pedal. So we go around it and make a standing back post double crochet, okay? Like that. And now we are working a back post double crochet two together over these two stitches. So the third from the right side and the third from the left side on the other side, okay? So we are just going around, making a half finish double crochet, yarning over, skipping one, two, three, four, five. This is the two half double crochet back posts and the slip stitch, and then the next two back post half double crochets. And around the third here, we are making another half finished double crochet, like that. One, two, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three, like that. And now we are doing another back post double crochet around the next stitch, followed by a back post half double crochet, like that. And then we chain three, so one, two, three. And then we skip this entire corner section. So we're skipping the bubble, the chain one, the double crochet, the chain one and the bubble. And around the next stitch, we are doing a back post, half double crochet, 
which will be the first back post double crochet from the previous round. And then we do a back post double crochet around the next stitch. And then we are repeating this one. So we are doing a back post double crochet two together over this stitch, skipping the next five. So one, two, three, four, five. And around this one, the third, you do a half finish double crochet, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all like that. And then you do a back post double crochet around the next one and a back post half double crochet around the next stitch. Chaining three, so one, two, three, skipping all this and do a back post half double crochet around the first stitch after the corner, which is the back post double crochet, like that. And as you can tell, this gives a lovely little line behind here. We are beginning to create corners and sides and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So just take it nice and slow, count so you skip exactly those five stitches, two half double crochets, slip stitch, two half double crochets, okay? And then everything will match up absolutely perfectly. So do that for all of the pedals and meet me up to close because we're carrying on with the same yarn, so don't cut it off. We are now all the way around and I just remembered why I wanted to close this with an invisible join to the second stitch because it will look so much neater. So don't mind what I said just a few seconds ago. Just cut the yarn and close with an invisible join to the second stitch, which is this back post double crochet two together, okay? And then meet me up with the same yarn to begin round number seven. For round seven, we are creating our four corners and four sides. So choose any given chain three space placed behind a pedal and let's begin. So you begin around any given chain three space and do a standing double crochet like this, followed by three more double crochets. So we should have four in total. So one and two, three and four. And then we do a front post double crochet around the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. And into the next chain three space, we are making two double crochets, one and two. And then we chain one and make two more double crochets. So one and two. And then we do a front post double crochet around the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we are back. So this is all that we are going to do for this round. We are placing four double crochets around the first chain three space and then work a front post double crochet around the next five stitches. Remembering that the front post double crochet two together is one stitch, okay? And then in the next chain three space, we are working two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, followed by a front post double crochet around the next five stitches. So do this three more times for all sides and meet me up to close. And we are all the way around and it has now a little bit of an octagon shape, but we are squaring that out in the upcoming rounds. So simply cut off your yarn and close with an invisible join to the second stitch. And then we can begin round number eight. For round number eight, we are working a standing double crochet around any given chain one space, like this, and then you chain one and make another double crochet around the same space. And then we do a front post double crochet around the next six stitches. 
So one and two, three, four, five, and six, like that. And then we continue on with a front post half double crochet around the next two stitches. So one and two, followed by a front post single crochet around the next two stitches. So one and two. And then we're mirroring our way back. So a front post half double crochet around the next two stitches. One and two. Followed by a front post double crochet around the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you have arrived to your next chain one space. So for the following three sides, you will simply do as we did now, placing a double crochet, chain one, double crochet around the chain one space, a front post double crochet around the next six stitches, following by a front post half double crochet around the next two, and a front post single crochet around the next two. A front post half double crochet around the next two, and then a front post double crochet around the next six stitches okay so do that and then close with an invisible join to the second stitch being the chain one space here and then we will begin round number nine okay so we are now getting closer to our square shape as you can tell it still has a little bit of a lift here in the center and that is what we will fix for this round so we are now beginning around any chain one space with a standing half double crochet like that and then we make a second one around the same chain one space chaining one and working two more half double crochets around the same space so one and two like that and now we will continue with a front post half double crochet around the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, followed by a front post single crochet around the next eight. So one, Two, three. These are a little bit trickier to get around because they are the front post half double crochets and single crochets from the previous round. So four, five, six, seven, and eight and then we're doing a front post half double crochet around the remaining six stitches so one two three four five and six so this is what we will do for the remaining three sides. We are placing two half double crochets, chain one, two half double crochets around the chain one space, then a front post half double crochet over the next six, followed by a front post single crochet over the next eight and ending with a front post half double crochet over the next six stitches. Okay, so do that for all three sides and finish off with an invisible join to the second stitch and meet me up for round number 10. We are now up to our second to last round, and this will be the final one that we are working front post. 
stitches okay next one will be back post so we switch it up then but for now just grab your yarn and let's begin so we begin in any chain corner space and make two single crochets the first one being a standing one of course so one and two and then we chain one and make two more single crochets around the same chain one space like that and then we simply do a front post half double crochet around each stitch across so you should have 24 front post half double crochets when finished okay so just take it nice and slow pinch your work so you get in around all of those stitches and just go one by one until you reach the other side okay so a super easy super calming round no fuss just front post half double crochets for even more texture so i have now reached the other side and i thought to do a little recap so you place two single crochets a chain one and two single crochets around the chain one space and then a front post half double crochet for each stitch across and it should be 24 stitches okay so do that for the remaining three sides and then close with an invisible join to the second stitch being the second single crochet of this round okay and then we will begin our final round So we are now here at our very last round and it's easy to think that this is it but we are actually going to use back post stitches making these gorgeous little stitches tilt up and frame our work adorable so to begin this round we simply find ourselves our corner chain one space and place a standing single crochet in it followed by a chain one and another single crochet like that and then we are skipping the next stitch that is kind of hidden and into the next stitch we are making a back post single crochet and we will be keep doing this for 26 stitches in total so you should have one left when you reach the other side and that one will be skipped as well so we are skipping the first and last stitch of each side okay so just keep on going nice and slowly and meet me up and I'll show you again, okay? Have fun! So we have come all the way to the other side and we still have our second single crochet of the previous corner left that we haven't worked in and that's because we're not supposed to. We are skipping this one. So you should have a single crochet, chain one, single crochet around the chain one space, skipping the next working a back post single crochet around the next 26 stitches and then skipping the last one here. So do that for the remaining three sides and close with an invisible join to the second stitch and meet me up for some final words, okay? See you in a bit. And just like that, we are finished with this week's island lily square and she's absolutely gorgeous don't you think i mean the texture of the framing all the front and back posts it looks absolutely spectacular so we hope you have had lots and lots of fun making your island lily square and if you love this tutorial please give us a thumbs up leave a little comment below subscribe to our channels and turn the notifications on because a new part will be released next week and seven more to follow. So until next time.